Laboratory officers on strike, services in public hospitals have literally ground to a halt despite nurses resolving to bargain with the government. So how critical are these roles played by doctors and other health workers? Citizen TV takes you through the different levels of hospital care and how they have been affected by the ongoing strike. Yeah. Empty hospitals, <laughs> busy streets, patients in agony. This is what best describes the three weeks doctors have been on strike, a situation that has worsened following the industrial action by clinical offices. Medical laboratory offices are the latest to follow queue with their set of grievances. But just how critical are doctors, clinicians and lab officers in a hospital setup? A visit to Kisi Teaching and Referral Hospital and we are taken through the steps. Here, once a patient arrives at the facility, he is directed to the customer care desk for registration. They then move to the triage room where you are attended to by a nurse who takes the patient's vital indicators including temperature, weight, blood pressure and oxygen levels. From here, they are directed to a room depending on their condition. They are either seen by a clinician, um, a medical officer or a specialist, uh, depending on what service they need. It is here where one is either given a drugs prescription or asked to have their samples taken in a lab for detailed diagnosis. That work is carried out by medical lab officers assisted by technicians. However, with the doctors, clinicians and lab officers on strike, it means that your visit starts and ends with the nurse at the triage section who cannot competently prescribe any treatment or drugs nor conduct lab diagnosis. The hospital, a level 5 facility, is meant to attend to referrals from other facilities within the county and neighboring counties for emergency cases. Dr. Giaba says there is a team of nurses who are always on standby to receive patients at the emergency section. The team that is assembled based on the, you know, what was described before referral gets to immediately attend to them. Those who need to go to theatre are taken to theatre, those who need to go to ICU go to ICU and the team at ICU will find, uh, you know, will find them ready uh, you know, to take care of these patients. With doctors out of the picture, the situation could get dire in case of an emergency. Dr. Giabe says the health crisis is hurting the common man as only two levels of hospitals are functional. They include level one facilities where community health promoters attend to patients at the community level and level two, which are dispensaries where nurses are employed to attend to patients. The crisis begins from level three to level six, where services offered by doctors, clinical officers, nurses and lab technicians have been interrupted. Mtu anapoenda hospitali, kwa kawaida, akiona hata mtu yeyote, hata we yeyote, ya najua ni daktari. Kwa hivyo mwana inchi wa kawaida, ajui daktari ni nani, nasi ni nani, na maybe lab tech ni nani. E, nikienda usi, kawaida unaenda reception, unambiwe enda uangaria daktari. Sasa atuchuyu ni nasi, ama ni doctor, ama ni nani. To these Kenyans who cannot differentiate between a doctor, a nurse, and a clinician, their plea to the government is that they resolve the strike which continues to hurt thousands of